The next step in the workflow was to do TTFM on the graphs. And here, we have a revision due to an occluding clip. We will take a closer look at how a bad TTFM, where the PI is greater than the flow, led to imaging of the anastomosis. The planned surgery was to do on-pump lima to LAD, SVG to obtuse marginal. The TTFM after the grafting was bad. As you can see, the flow was almost zero and the PI was skyrocketing. You can also see that the curves have a high degree of backflow. It could also be worth mentioning that the diastolic filling is low, so all panels here are worth reacting to. During imaging, you could see that there is something inside the anastomosis that is obstructing the flow. And if you look very closely, you can see a white line close to the drawing on top of it. It is believed that this is the clip. The surgeon decided to revise this anastomosis. And by starting the revision, they found the clip and removed it. On the second TTFM measurement, you can see the flow is improved and the PI is good, and then the revision turned out to be not necessary after all. The lima turned out to be a bit too short, so they lengthened it with a piece of SVG. So in this case, removal of the clip improved flow, leaving revision unnecessary.